I'm pleased to announce that it's going to be a couple of these videos more before the world will come to the end, probably mostly in some unexpected fashion. <laughs> Hi, I'm Martin, this is Not Enough Tech. A couple of days ago, I've been sitting at my desk, enjoying my cup of coffee, checking some messages, when I suddenly got the notification that oh, outraged me and made me very angry and uh, I really, really wanted to terminate the entire world. As you're watching this video, and I'm recording this video, you probably know that didn't happen. And probably it won't happen for a couple of more episodes until I accidentally blow something up. No, but that got me thinking, would it be nice actually to convey some of that strong emotion uh, in a more meaningful fashion than typing it out as a comment? And this is where I came up with this. Well, obviously I didn't come up with this, this is a Gara Cube and it's connected to an old jet. But I've changed this into Insult Ultron 9000. Do you like the name? I like it. It's cool. Anyway. So, as I'm not a strong supporter of insulting people online, I figured there is a more classy way of doing that. And I revert back to well, 16th and 17th century techniques made by, well, invented by Shakespeare to generate a couple of uh, handsome insults. So, right now, when I do this, cue the offense or insult should appear in here, but I have to generate it in post, there is no other way. But when I do this each time, it will generate and randomly pick insult. And in my data bank, I've got 35 times by 35 times by 35. That's a lot of insults to go through before you start repeating yourself. So one cube, too many insults. But while I'm talking about the insults, I would like to bring um, a couple of more functionalities to this cube connected to a computer. Obviously, what I've done was on the computer screen, and you can do more than just insult people online. You can actually use the cube to uh, control the volume. Control the desktop screens, or if you're lazy, you can use it to play back your movies and uh, music. So instead of generating an insult like this, you could use it to uh, randomize your playlist or double tap to stop the playback uh, of your film. So, one cube, many ideas. So, how this is done? Let's jump to Node Red and uh, you're gonna see it. So, this is the Node Red setup I've got. And first of all, I'd strongly recommend you to read at least two of my previous tutorials. One about the Xiaomi gateway in Node-RED and the other one about the cube itself in Node-RED because I'm not going to explain in detail how they interact. All you need to know for this tutorial is that we're going to intercept each one of the messages posted by cube and respond to it. In addition to that, uh, I would strongly recommend you to take a look at the join in Node-RED and auto remote in Node-RED notifications because that's going to be linked in the description for you as well. And this is something I will explain a bit, but I'm not going to cover any details of it. Now, let's start with the principle and in principle, I've set up the alert. When uh, alert message is received from the cube, I'm sending this to even ghost and I've don't have anything assigned to it in even ghost, but I just want to show you how it works. What I have to do is assign the device. So in this uh, case, I'm sending it to my desktop and assign the command in this case, alert. And that's being sent to event ghost. So when we open the event ghost, you'll see that a message like that's going to be uh, sent by auto remote. That's going to be basically uh, every single command in here in auto, uh, sorry, in event ghost, event ghost is going to be like this. So let's go to actual details. So push or move, it move is the action, and in this case, I'm just going to switch the screens. There's a couple of things that I actually have to check. First of all, I need to know what kind of desktop I'm currently visiting. Uh, if that information is available to me, uh, then I'm going to trigger additional 
uh, screen. So basically that is stored in my flow variable and it's updated from the event ghost itself. So let's take a look again at event ghost and this is a desktop. I have a left desktop and a right desktop in here. So each time I'm changing the desktop, I'm executing this Python script, which is basically HTTP request back to my node red, informing me whether I switch to the left or right desktop. Now that happens when I uh, change the desktop using the cube, like in here, or change the desktop using a key combination. Uh, please note that I had to uh, send the keystrokes again because the initial keystrokes, uh, Windows, Control and Left, were intercepted by um, even Ghost and didn't work directly so I had to just emulate them. And one more thing to note is that I'm sending commands to oppose the desktop, so if my current desktop is uh, left, I want to obviously send that to my right desktop and if my current desktop active is R, so for right, I'm sending that to trigger the change to the left desktop, so control windows left. And that's how the desktop changes are working. Now moving on to the next available uh, thing, which is gonna go through volume first. I'm gonna leave the insult Tron for the last. Now volume responds to the rotate action and uh, basically I receive a message like this. This is a string and it contains the rotational angle and I think this is a time in millisecond. I might be wrong, but we are mostly interested in the first set of numbers and we need to extract this. So because this is a string, I can split it by um, the column and that will give me an array. And in the first array for the first element, which is labeled obviously as a zero, I'm gonna get this value. And now this value is gonna be parsed as integer, as a decimal integer, and then I can use this to determine whether I'm uh, turning the cube clockwise or anti-clockwise in here. So clockwise more than zero, anti-clockwise less than zero. And as in previous examples, I'm just assigning a payload, assigning the topic and sending command over to the event ghost. And the volume control is very simple. All I have to do is just increase the and decrease the volume by 10%. So I would have in incremental controls. Now let's take a look at the last thing, which is tap twice. And this is a very simple example. I'm just directly sending tap, tap twice as a command to the event ghost. And in here I had a couple of problems to so actually bring uh, well, direct controls over to extend the screen, so I had to use the mouse itself. So if you have a look at the keystrokes, I'm using Windows plus B to trigger that side screen, and then I'm sending, uh, waiting a couple of moments for the side option to be available, move the cursor to absolute um, location, and do the left click to extend it. That's pretty much it. And now let's go and insult someone. In Node-RED, there's a couple of things that you have to take a note of. First of all, I want to generate the insult and send it as a clipboard to my computer. And I'm doing it by using join push. Now to send a join push a clipboard, I'm constructing message push, uh, assigning the clipboard value and then the device ID for my computer. Now once uh, that device uh, ID is taken from my global variables. You can just hard code it yourself if you want to. I just have the global variables for all stuff like that. Now generating the insults, I have three different arrays, one to three. Each one contains 35 different words taken from the Shakespearean-ish generator, uh, which will create a three word insult. And that will give me 40,000 combinations plus. So each time I'm going to create a seed, the seed one, two, and three. So what happens is I'm gonna take the number from zero to 35. So that's why it's, uh, it's from, um, that's why it's written like this. And then just gonna write, round it down to make sure. And those three numbers gonna be uh, in here to pick one of the elements from this array. And then I just create a payload, which basically is gonna say you are and uh, your insult, that insult is gonna end up in joint push. Now, once this is sent over to my computer, I can then tell even Ghost to execute an action shake. Now, action shake is very simple. All I'm doing is basically generating on screen insult generated a message and then use control plus V to um, paste it into a text field. That's pretty much all. 
So, if you like my Insultatron 9000, leave me a like so I would know. Otherwise, how are I gonna know it? You can also leave me a comment or just follow uh, through through the links below to get one uh, cube like that. And obviously, you're gonna need a Xiaomi hub as well to connect it to Node-RED. But you can do plenty of wicked things with this. Now, if you're excited about this and other stuff, you can always follow me on social media and get notified when I release a silly video like this. Each video has an article, so I do stress check the articles because sometimes I do get a lot of messages that are not necessarily the questions people should be asking if they read the article. So, uh, thumbs up for everyone that read the article first, then asked the question. Anyway, so I'm gonna stop waffling about everything and I'm gonna say at my usual, Thanks so much for watching guys and see you next time, take care, bye. As you're watching this video you probably know that didn't happen. I was close though, so bear in mind with my automation skills it bound to happen sooner or later. Ah, oh, damn it, <laughs> speaking of good messages. <laughs>